kaboom and good morning interwebbers well it's still good evening actually it's um eight minutes past 11 o'clock and i'm waiting for my rig to roll in it's a freightliner argosy today and i'm taking it down to the south island so we're going to be in for a good mission i've got an interesting load on board that was going to necessitate me driving uh, expeditiously and very cautiously i've been um expanding on my vocabulary skills well here we are into Weber's, we're in the old Freightliner Argosy, we're cutting a track down south and uh, life is good, I don't want to be anywhere else. Just love it. Man, I don't know what he had in there. Probably yacht fuel. Oh, we're down the wharf waiting to get loaded. Oh, that trailer looks familiar. Yeah, it's a hard life, this trucking life. <laughs> and just like that, we're off the boat. Anyway, so this is going to be my temporary home. Well, a hundred years ago, I guess I'll be driving that instead of a truck. Uh -huh. Do I have a use for one of these? Man, that needs to be sanded smooth. Yeah, not many of you will know what these are, but... I generated a huge amount of work out of one of these. Big ups to Marty. What else we got down here? They had a coal range like this in the kitchen. And I used to dry my boots and my swan dry in there. But they had a wet back like that, so it had permanently boiling water all the time. It was a really good bit of kit. It's very good. Yeah. This is definitely a cool shot. Now I know someone who'd like that. <laughs> cool. Kiwi styles, man. Oh, cool. Morning, interwebbers. What an excellent sleep I had. Right, shower time. But I want to show you this place that I discovered last night. Here we are. Check it out. What an amazing shot. Man, she is loaded up. If it's windy, it's no good, but... Oh, no, that's a great little bike, mate. I'm way impressed you've come down from Auckland on it. Yeah. You know, these little theatres, eh? these little country theatres, you just got to wonder how many farmers' wives have put on the sound of music here over the years. I bet it was great. I mean, all the cockies came along and watched and cheered and clapped. Would have been hilarious. Love these little places. They have so much good vibes about them. Excellent. Love the small town memories things. The fact that it's well taken care of. Yeah, I like that. That's really cool. Big ups to you, Murchison. Oh well, I think I know what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. You know, if this was Canada or parts of America, there'd be bears here. That really freaks me out, eh? You know, I really want to go trucking in the States. And I'd love to get up into Canada and Alaska and see all those kind of places. But it does concern me, and I don't know how realistic this fear is, but it does bother me that, you know, say I'm trucking out the back of Canada or somewhere, 
and I see a nice spot and I stop and I decide that's where I want to camp for the night or, or for whatever reason. And I'm sitting there doing my thing and a bear sneaks up and attacks me. You know, like, in New Zealand we don't have any critters that can seriously hurt you. Oh, there's a, there's a spider or two that'll give you a nasty bite, but, you know, oh, and we do have wild pigs, but generally they'll run away from you as opposed to running towards you. But it just freaks me out that, you know, in some environments that I want to go to, there's um, predators out there that eat humans. You know, like Australia with its crocodiles and stuff, and America with its bears and stuff. Anyway, try on. <laughs> Look at this little guy. A little bit of bud coming on there. I'd say this is his first winter as a fully grown, or fully accepted tree. Almost. <laughs> Just beautiful. Look at him. What a beautiful little church. Just love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The truth. Oh man, I remember those. When I was a little boy, about five or six years old, we'd go to the dentist, we used to call it the murder house, and she'd have that thing buzzing along and you could see the knots flying around the cables that provided the energy for the drill. You'd be sitting there watching the knots whizz around there and occasionally it'd get jammed and your tooth would fuck it hurt. Okay, well, that was Murchison and what a pleasant little town it is. Loved it. That bakery was so cool, eh? The museum was pretty out of it. Really nice little small town. Pretty much like everybody I met there. They were all pretty much a good bunch of country folks. Just what we're looking for, really. Look at these two shady buggers. A couple of freight shakers lurking in the mountains. What's up with that? Hey, main freight, how are you doing? Boom! Scania, choice. Hey, did you see that? That was Steena that went past. Well, they twins. You know, I just can't believe that this is my job. Look at where I am. Life is good, peeps. Track on. 411 litres. 454 litres in it. Fuck, that was just too close for my liking. Well, I'm 17 kilometres, maybe less, away from the end of the South Island. And once again, I've had a fantastic time down here. Just love this place. And uh, looking forward to the ferry crossing and my dinner, because us truckies get a free dinner on the ferry. And I'm hoping that it's really yummy, because I'm so starving. All I've eaten today is um, toast. Oh, I have my yummy custard thing from the cool little bakery we went this morning. Wasn't that a cute little place? Because of course the old Kiwi banana factory went broke because they threw away all the bent ones. But this is one of the ones that made it through. And we're loading. Am I going to make it past that Kenworth? Yep. Just. Look at this, we've got to try and turn around here. This is just crazy shit. Still, if it was easy, everyone would do it, eh? The cool thing about us and Peter Trucky on here is that we get free meals. I am so pleased to get this. I am so hungry. <laughs> wow. So my question is, how do they know where to go when they can't fucking see anything? I mean, look at that. So here we all are, on the boat, waiting for the get off, look the two Turner's trucks, cool, Paul's over there, NZL just there, 
I've got a nice guy from called Grant from Toll behind me, owner operator, and uh, all the civilians. So life is good. Let's track on. Oh yeah, I just love this Nauronga Gorge. I don't know if you can see that with the GoPro, but that van is tailgating that truck. He must be like less than 10 feet away from his brake lights. Just bullshit. Let's see if we get a good look at him. Look at that. Look at that guy tailgating that truck. What a fucking asshole.